Hi everyone, this is Clemmy Games and welcome to the Indie Game Backlog. In this episode, we will take a look at Shattered Throne, a turn-based tactics game developed by Checkmark Games and released on Steam in November 2016. For disclosure, I received this game for free. Right off the bat, I shall tell you that Shattered Throne is one of the best turn-based tactics games that I have played due to the systems and the design of the units, as well as its beautiful sprite artwork. To me, tactics games should make you feel like you are constantly learning, and the satisfaction that I get when implementing a successful strategy from previous lessons learned is a great feeling, and Shattered Throne does accomplish this. In the main campaign, you play as a prince whose world is thrown into chaos when the undead begin to attack. There are traitors in the army and mysterious characters that introduce themselves with their ultimate objectives being unclear. This is a tactics game in the vein of something like Advanced Wars or games in the Fire Emblem series with of course obvious differences such as there being no rock paper scissors type weapon triangle between sword, axe and spear or even no enduring characters or relationships between said characters on the battlefield. However, the core strategizing in Shattered Throne is pretty fun and you can capture locations on the map in order to defeat all enemies, capture specific enemy buildings or to destroy certain objectives. Here, the player and the AI take turns to move all their units with each having certain movement and attack range. For the introductory Divine Empire faction, we have units such as the Witch Hunter, a ranged archer type, the Guard, a melee unit that does better when being attacked rather than going on the offensive, the Knight, which can damage two enemies lined up together, and many more. Each individual unit has their own traits, such as Defender, First Strike, Cleave, Charge, and Trample, and it becomes a very strategic mix to consider not only what your units can do, but to consider the possibilities of enemy units as well. The game is transparent in the sense that you can click on enemy units to read up on the traits, and as a result, the strategic part of the game becomes so much more satisfying. Individual units do also earn experience and will rank up, increasing their stats such as health or attack, and even to gain additional traits. Veteran units thus become much more valuable, but losing them in battle will then be a much more significant loss. You can capture structures and locations on the map, such as the town, which generates gold per turn for you, the castle, which allows you to purchase additional units, various fortifications, such as walls and gates, which give units on said structures a defensive advantage, and even the academy, which allows you to produce siege weapons and seraphs for your army. Prioritizing and capturing these structures is a critical part of any strategy and choosing when to carry out these actions could be the difference between victory and defeat. Leaving units on these structures also has the benefit of not only denying the enemy easy access to recapture the structure, but also has effects such as healing units standing on the town for example. Speaking of benefits, the terrain does also play a part here. While the plains and road give no specific benefits, the mountains on the other hand do give plus one to attack for any unit on it. This adds to the strategic importance of positioning which is really suited for a tactics game. On top of these, you can get gems for defeating enemies, which are displayed at the top of the screen. These gems can be used to activate your hero powers, such as to increase the movement speed of all units or to heal all units, which of course can be the decisive factor in turning the tide of battle. One critical system in this game is combos, where consecutive attacks on an enemy unit will result in more crossed swords icons appearing on top of it. Units with a higher combo counter on them suffer from more damage and deal less counter-attack damage, and there are even units with abilities that specifically exploit the system, such as the Seraph with the Chain Strike ability, which causes her to attack all enemies around her with combo points on them. Really interesting and tactical system with a whole host of possibilities, which is the core for Shattered Throne. There are a total of three factions in this game, each with unique units with their own special traits and abilities. For example, the mummy unit from the Dark Cabal or Undead faction has the overrun trait, switching places with its attacking target if possible, as well as piercing, which ignores target defense, and disease, which poisons all adjacent enemy units on death. Ghouls have the Vicious Trait, gaining plus 2 attack for each combo point on the target, as well as Consume Corpse, which recovers 8 health whenever a nearby unit is killed. And the most common zombie unit has the Resist Trait, 
making it immune to curses, and the relentless trait which causes it to counterattack at full strength regardless of the number of combo counters on it. There's also the Fey Court faction with fairies and mystical beings, and this wide range of units and abilities makes the game such a joy. There's also skirmish mode, a puzzle mode, a level creator, and even online play, so definitely a hefty amount of content with lots to learn and do. Finally, as mentioned, I really love the sprite work here which is simply fantastic. I love me some good pixel art and the variation and designs here is very nice. Overall, Shattered Throne is a fantastic turn-based tactics game that focuses on the core system of combos, the large variety in unit design and traits, as well as factors such as buildings and terrain makes for a supremely substantial package, which is a must get in my opinion for strategy fans. Anyway, that will do it for this video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, leave a comment if you like. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.